giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Uh, so yeah. let's send it on over to Ben for Turing. All right. Um, so the Turing field really has three super strong powerhouses on it, but the rest of the field also really shows some promise. Uh, and this competition really is anyone's game here. The field is a, a lot deeper than it seems at first glance, but I'm going to start out with some of the teams that really, really are going to show up as uh, some of the ones who've traditionally been very, very good. Um, so we have to start with 1619, Upper Creek Robotics. So uh, Caleb, Caleb has them first, uh, predicted to seed first 90% of the time based on their match schedule and their uh, strong competition performance so far. Um, I don't know if that's it's exactly going to be 90% of the time, but um, you know they're, they're still going to have to work for it, obviously. Um, but uh, expect them to make a strong showing on the Turing field because their OPR is 6.1 higher, six, excuse me, 6.1 points higher than the next closest team. Um, they've also won two events so far. They've got a uh, suction climb, so they're going to be super strong in this division. Um, another one we've got is 3310, the winners of the FIT District Championship, Blackhawk Robotics. Blackhawk Robotics. Um, so they won it with 148. They've won three events so far, and they've been on the number one alliance in their division at Champs since 2017. Don't expect them to stop now. They're going to be super strong in this division, maybe one of the best driven robots in this division. Uh, they're just uh, insanely good. Paul and company are insanely good. So uh, really watch out for 3310. I'd be very surprised if they don't end up on the number one alliance one way or another. Um and of course, we can't not talk about 254, the cheesy poofs. Um, so some people have said they haven't looked as stellar this year, but uh, they don't take into account sometimes that 254 is not a stellar year, is still winning two regionals as the number one selection or the number one request, and still soling rockets and still basically winning every event that comes their way. They haven't you know, necessarily face the same district champs that some of these teams have. But, right. you, you know, man, they're super strong. They're always very strong when they get to the championship level. They always end up getting picked first one way or another, requested first one way or another. Uh, so 254 is just a really insane team when it comes to anything at the highest level and expect them to be super strong on this division. Uh, so the Turing field is super deep. Uh, we got a multitude of contenders across many regions of FRC. One I have to call out is 3478 Lambot from Mexico. They've won three regionals so far and improved with each specific play. I know you wanted to interject something here, Lino. Yeah, 3478 has been just doing great for the past couple of years here in Mexico. And this is the first time we've seen them on an uh, international level compete amazingly, which was in Utah. They uh, they picked 971. Now, I'm a bit worried, honestly, for 3478, because if you go back and you see the matches from 3478 from last year at championship, there's one team that didn't let them be a really strong team. It's called Mechanic Wheels. And you can just see them getting pushed from one side to the field to the other, and just um, they're, they're rather, like getting really weak at, at eliminations in championships. I'm really worried for them because they have mechanic wheels again. Now they're a great robot. They have a really fast elevator. They're like an all Neo team. And I'm sure that they're going to do great. I'm just a bit worried on when they get play defense. All right. Uh, to go ahead and talk about uh, a couple other teams in this division, we got 5199 with a really fun name, Robot Dolphins from Outer Space. Yeah, so they're having the best year they've ever had in their history. They've got two wins from the number one seed, uh, so they're doing fantastic this year. We got 46-13, Barker Redbacks. They've got that super unique double climb, um, and then one Southern Cross is the number one pick. So they're, they're also having a, a really good year with many uh, unique robot features that really surprised everyone as soon as, um, as soon as they released the reveal video. Yeah, maybe not as good as last year, but uh, maybe not. I, I think people discount 46-13 uh, kind of easily because they're an international team and they didn't win four regionals again, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a, a team like that, you know, I, I think you still have to be wary for uh, that there's a lot of great potential that can come from Barker, especially if they end up uh, dropping in the rankings and could end up, you know, somewhere on like a number – six or seven alliance that could just really uh, complete that alliance the right way. Uh, I could definitely see something like that happening. Yeah. And Tyler, I'd argue that their robot this year scales to higher levels of competition better 
than they've had for some of the robots in the past couple of years. So I wouldn't be surprised if their world champs performance is actually better this year than it's been in the past. Um, I'm actually just, curious. I'm sorry. Um, the Red have they have they been able to? I, I know that in the reveal video they climbed to robots. Have they been able to do that consistently? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. yes. I haven't been following them much. Um, consistently. I mean, they've they, been able to. They've yeah. been able to, which is more than a lot of teams. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, consistency is a funny thing. There's a lot of teams that are inconsistent going into champs and end up consistent at champs when, like, you know, gun your head and you've got to get it working, they get it working. Um, uh, some other teams here, we got 649, MSET Fish. They've been a high pick twice this year and maybe a great pick by a high seed on the back end of the draft. We've got uh, 3284, Camdenton Laser. Uh, they've been on the number one alliance twice. Uh, 5012 Griffin Gear. They've uh, one of those teams that's historically always posting updates with um, the the things that they've changed about their robot, and there's always something different. So they got to be able to solo rockets, and they posted a video today that shows that they've joined Team Suction. Uh, so expect lots of improvements from them. Um, they made it really close, uh, or as close as you really can there with 1678 at Aerospace Valley. Uh, we've also got 4451 Robots Garage. They've won two events. Uh, 2930 uh, is the Sonic Squirrels. They've won two events as a superstar in the PNW as well. Um, very, very strong team here. They're having a really great year. Um, so to list off several other teams that uh, were either winners or finalists they haven't gotten to yet here, we've got uh, 1730 Team Driven. 2360, uh, 2383, excuse me, the Ninjaneers, uh, 4522 Team Scream, and uh, 1726 Nerds, and also 1868, the Space Cookies, who have had a very good year. Uh, so there's a couple teams that I think could end up being dark horses because they've maybe, you know, gone out in the semifinals or haven't had quite as uh, quite as strong as showings or aren't as well known. We've got uh, 3937 Team Breakaway, who was knocked out in the semis at both of their events, but the robot design is very good, and they have have uh, a lot of the ability to do some of the game piece poaching um, that we haven't seen a whole lot of strategies take that route, but they're one of the robots that's super capable of that. Uh, we've also got uh, 1421 Team Chaos, also a lesser-known team in FRC, but they've been putting up strong scores and won their most recent event as the number one pick. Um, do you guys have any teams you want to call out? So I want to go back a little bit on a 5199. Yeah. I, I recall watching them at an off-season event, and it was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen when they get announced for a match. They rip off their pants. Oh, um, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it, I, was, wow. I had to do a double take. Um, I thought I, I didn't know what was going on, but they straight up rip off their pants. So props to them, I guess, for winning two regionals after ripping off their pants. Unique, I guess. <laughs> that's uh, that, that's well, each to their own. Because right? the name that's isn't unique enough, they yeah. just need more, right? So yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyone else? Any of you guys want to talk about any uh, any other teams here? Anyone I forgot to call out, or someone you want to expand on? I think you called out a third of the division, so you might. I think you did a pretty good job covering uh, most of these teams, uh, and uh, yeah, I was uh, uh, one team. I'm glad that you mentioned was 5012 because I think a, a team like that, mm -hmm. uh, they were very. Uh, you know, I think there's a lot of uh, questions why. Uh, you know, who's going to get picked? Them or Code Orange at the Aerospace Valley Regional? I think 5012 show that they're they are definitely a force to be reckoned with, and I think they're they're out for uh, some improvement after going down in the finals mm -hmm. uh, at Aerospace Valley, and I'm definitely looking forward to 5012 and, and to see what they can do. Yeah, there's some of these teams like them that, or in like Jersey Voltage is another one that just have these culture of you know we're always going to improve the robot event over event over event over event and then you you see the posts and you see the improvements constantly and it's just you know something that you just admire that you know it's like man you didn't get it right the first time and now you're going to put all this extra effort to make sure it's good teams like that are going to benefit so much by the uh the lack of bag cuz they're they're just going to they snap their fingers and their robots better for the next event you know props to them um, I want to give a shout out to, they actually just said it on chat, 6377 Howdy Bots, they're on ah, this yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I love the Howdy Bots. Um, they did great at the district championship in Texas. They were actually a second pick, 
but but the alliance they made and just having a howdies do that consistent climb it's great so whoever gets the howdies if it's like a second or third pick it's gonna be a great robot to have yeah um i do want to call out something that could be really cool in this division um so if uh 1619 with their suction cup climb ends up with 3310 who also has a suction mm -hmm. cup climb um, as shown at Texas State Champs. If they end up with a third bot that can climb to level three, then that that's a triple climb right there. They just, you know, go suction cup and on the platform next to each other as their third bot just hangs out in the background. Love to so, see that in practice, so, but yeah. I want to yeah, see that. That'd be, that'd be awesome if it works yeah. out. Make it, it happen. happen. This division's pretty deep. I wouldn't be surprised. Like this one in 1678's division, there, there are a couple here that I think could take the whole thing, and this is one of them. We need your help to keep fun at Loud, Live, and Independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.